Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Seasons here with the Oasis Challenge. And today is going to be a pretty special day, starting with a swarm of bees attacking us inside of our own treehouse bedroom. Ah, sorry about that, Eve. Unfortunately, living up in a treehouse does happen to attract a lot of creepy crawlies, but at least that is over with. Oh my gosh, does she have, <gasps> look at that. And I mean, how could the bees resist how the fact that you are covered in so many beautiful leaves? Maybe she is giving off a pollen of her own that the bees are just really curious about. But welcome back, everybody. So thankfully for you guys, we have been pretty on schedule with all of our videos, but for me, it has been a very long time Time since I have had a chance to sit down and actually see what Eve and Flora are up to here with all of our little animals. And is it just me or is my weather machine busted? Oh, soot! Soot, what did you do? The weather machine is literally destroyed. Oh my gosh. And there's a little toy down here that I can only assume is from Soot. That is going to be my guess. I think our dog, our, our storm chasing, weather loving dog, who really, really, really adores uh, chasing it down lightning, has actually gone and somehow destroyed our weather machine. I'm going to say he was barking and jumping at it and just a little bit curious. And the next thing you know, he, he destroyed it. That is just, that's gonna be my guess. But so we'll have to deal with that later. Huh, maybe Flora can go ahead, maybe ask him like, what's wrong? And we'll see if we can help sit out there. But yeah, I can't believe our weather machine is destroyed. That is, that's, that's not good. But at least it is now officially autumn. It is autumn inside of the desert. Uh, and thankfully that seems to be pretty good weather. Today actually has mystery weather and it seems to be cool and partly cloudy. We are in day three out of seven of autumn and hopefully we will be able to continue growing all of the plants that really thrive during this season. In particular, the plants that turn into beautiful flowers that we can have Flora turn around and sell with those floral arrangements so that we can earn money and build up our greenhouses and continue on with with our quest to have our wonderful Eve gather up. What does she want to do? Oh my gosh, she wants to get the <laughs> she wants to get the pollen flowers so she can fight off the bees next time they come to swarm her. That would actually be kind of fun to do. But Eve is still a plant sim. I think that should have worn off a little while ago, but for some reason it has not. And we'll just say that that shows that she is a, it, like she's supposed to be a plant sim, but I had her eat the plant sim berry. And now she's been stuck in plant sim mode for a few days. It may have to do with the mods I have, and it may just have to do with the fact Eve is, um, Eve, Eve really loves being a plant sim. So that's pretty cool, but that's why her hair keeps changing between the two different types of hair she has. All right, so she is a plant nerd, finally on the botanist career track. She works in three hours, and today she actually has a work assignment. She needs to go on a dark forest hike, and that means attending a holiday ceremony, practicing remembrance, looking up spooky spirits, and uh, looking into mischief spirit, uh, like the spirit of mischief, all inside of Forgotten Hollows. So that is what we are going to be up to today, you guys, is Eve has her work assignment in Forgotten Hollows, and we are going to be going to see if we can gather up. Let me find, where's my collection area? I always forget, always forget. That's the reward store, that's the aspiration. And there's the collections, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, like I said, it's been a few days since I've had a chance to sit down. But we're going to actually send Eve over to Forgotten Hollows so that she can try to do another plant collecting expedition, just like we did when we went to the jungle. And this time we're looking for some uncommon plants that are only found inside of Forgotten Hollow. Something to do with plasma fruit, something to do with wolfsbane, and something to do with garlic. So we're gonna see if we can go on our expedition and find those today. But let's let Eve get started with her day first. Uh, I can't believe that Soot has destroyed this. And we have bills due. So it's not like we really have a lot of time for this. Flora, in her own silent way, can ask. Oh, and Soot's just feeling a little nervous about something. He's afraid of something and just needs a minute to calm himself down. I think he knows he broke something. Naughty boy. 
but that's just the way it is sometimes. Oh, and then Flora also is a freelance botanist. She needs to achieve level six of the, oh wait, no, that's her aspiration, sorry. She is a seed scatterer. She doesn't work for two more days, or she, yeah, she works, work in two days. Oh no, is this a day off? It's not supposed to be, no. Okay, there we go. Maybe that'll reset. Yeah, maybe? No, probably not. All right, that was not supposed to be a day off uh, of work. Harvest Fest can be Night on the Town. Did I do that? Oh, I didn't do that. Night on the Town is another one of those holidays that has just been randomly thrown in by the game. I love that. It keeps my Sims on their toes for sure. All right, but I guess Flora doesn't work today. So we can have her either do grafting, fertilizing, working on her gardening skill, or she can just continue romantic rogue. Let's go ahead and she's gonna work on her beautiful red begonias because she is feeling inspired. So she probably wants to be busy creating some lovely flower arrangements anyway. All right, and then down here, we have our lovely Eve. Look at Bonomia. How are you doing, begonia? Oh, I like him so much. And then we've got Rosie. And over here we have Bluebell. I can't wait for Gnome's Day next year. It was so much fun to have them show up and play with them. All right. This is awful. I wish... I guess once you blow your, your weather machine, you can only replace it. And that's about it. All right. So Eve is feeling pretty happy. Level 10 gardening skill. Evolve 10 excellent plants. She wants to analyze a plant sample all on her own. I'm actually gonna go ahead and let her do that. And then, oh, there we go. See, now her hair has changed again. And then I might send her into our greenhouse because we need to be taking care of some of these plants. And speaking of taking care of plants, how's our little, hi, little buddy, little cow plant on that glittering soil. That's kind of really cool. I really like you, little guy. Oh, maybe we should take a baby picture of the cow plant before it grows up. That might be a good idea. Oh, and Eve needs to take a quick shower so that she's got some water. Oh, that's right, and we have our shower down here so that we have a place for her to shower and to get some water. All right, work, f oh yes. Okay, so work starts for us today, thank goodness. I wanna work from home. That would be fantastic. <gasps> and we have a new plant print, yes. Oh, this is going great. Oh, and we just got promoted to STEM researcher. Yes, so many awesome things at once. All right. Eve has been promoted to STEM researcher. She will now make an additional five Simulonians per hour for a grand total of 75 Simulonians per hour. She has received the following bonuses, 700 Simuls and the Drifter. Is that this? Oh, so did we not? No, we found the Rhapsody in blue. So we didn't find anything. However, we got the drifter and it's common rarity. Oh, and it's plankton. Never fall in love with the plankton. Flowing wherever the current takes them, they are total vagabonds. Here's one such plankton dancing with groupies after a night of playing electric guitar with the bacteria band. Gosh, that sounds like that new anime on Crunchyroll that is kind of like Osmosis Jones made into an anime where you have all the red blood cells partying with each other in anime form. So, hmm, that's what that reminds me of. Fortunately, this moment was captured in art. We'll never see him again. So a partying plankton who has also like left, huh? All right, well, let's put that just like right behind us. I wonder, can I make it bigger? I would probably need to come over. Let me grab it. And, oh, I can, but he does not want to go down if you make him bigger. He, oh my gosh, what have I done? Okay, there we go. <laughs> we'll just have to leave him here. It doesn't look like you can make them bigger and also keep them inside of a basement. And this would give us focusing decor. Would all of these? Whoa, focusing decor nine? Holy cow, let's enable that emotional aura. I didn't even know it did that. That will probably help us out quite a bit. And let's go ahead and I want to water this little plant and then we'll water ourselves. So, all right, Eve has actually been promoted. STEM researcher sounds awesome. She needs to research gardening and she also needs to reach level four of the logic skill. So I'm gonna have her go ahead and take a shower. 
And those things are going to have to come secondary to her work task today of going to the Forgotten Grotto and studying and searching for the mysterious plants there. But I will let her come up and submit grant proposal. Oh, that's so fun. I wonder if we can, if we do submit a grant proposal, can we actually maybe like get money? Okay, and I'm going to have her come up and research gardening. And when she's done researching gardening, we'll say that her researching she's doing down here today is looking up stuff about the Forgotten Grotto. And I think I'm actually going to have her search for information on vampires to kind of show that she's doing research about the Forgotten Grotto in its area. And meanwhile, up here, Flora, since it's sunny right now and we have our permanently broken bunny who's always in a perfect mood, uh, so I only let her do work that can contribute to the funds when it's sunny. Flora has finished the Romantic Rogue and it's an excellent pristine quality. <gasps> That's fantastic. Oh my gosh. And we, what can we send it with? Like what happens if we sent it? I'm kind of curious. Okay. So it is a like, it, okay. It's a excellent quality. Red roses, red begonia, and red snapdragons. I want to take a picture of it. Oh, let's actually change the vase or the vase. I always ask Chips, like, is it vase or vase? And he's like, it's whatever you want it to be. And I'm like, that's wonderful, but not helpful. Uh, all right, there we go. Ooh, that's really nice for like a classic look. But this kind of looks like something where someone's like, I really love you. And they're trying to, they're trying to show it. What about Ruby? Oh, look at it in Ruby. <gasps> that's so pretty, you guys. Steel transparent looks like this. Uh, I think that Ruby really, really strikes the romantic tone we're going for here. Let's take a picture of it because it's very lovely. Oh, look, there's Soot's little ball. Can we take a picture? I'm going to take one picture of Soot's little, little ball. And then, oh, look at that with the shadows behind us. <gasps> that is quite nice. Um, let's see. We can change the orientation. There we go. Can we change? Oh my gosh. You can set all kinds of fun filters. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. <laughs> Why? Uh, and turn flash off. Oh my gosh. Um, gosh, I know I, I keep saying that, but it's just kind of hilarious at how beautiful the game has become. I'm thinking about classic Sims at the moment and then this, and it's very lovely. There we go. And I think that Flora is very proud of this one. And if I sent it with a blue bell, what happens? So if I sent it a little bit, oh, what beautiful flowers. I'm so proud of you, Flora. And look at the little, like the little cute pile that we have down there of the stray begonias. Oh, I live for these details. I live for these details. <gasps> That's so cool. What the heck? What have I done? I have no idea what I have just done, but this is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. I love this so much. I, this is all I ever wanted for like the craft skills, okay? It's all I ever wanted, but what does it do? Timelessness. Oh, so it'll stay pristine because I put on the bluebell scent timelessness. So I think actually it'll like stay in really high quality because of the bluebells. Well, that's amazing. And now I know. So I'm going to let Flora admire it. And then we're going to sell it because there's somebody out there, somebody out there who, who wants, oh, there's a ghost. There's literally a ghost. Hello? I'm so sorry. Wait, it's spooky day, isn't it? Oh, <gasps> spooky spirits. Eve, Eve, there's spirits afoot. There are spirits afoot because it is spooky day. Oh my goodness. We'll have to look into that. All right. Well, Flora, um, Eve is kind of busy. So I'm going to have you come over and water all the plants, please. It looks like Soot is also getting started on that. All right. And yeah, Eve is looking up the gardening stuff and then she's going to look up stuff about vampires. Look at all these ghosts! It is just literally a parade of ghosts surrounded by bees. This is also not what I thought would happen today. This is hilarious. I love these holidays. They literally change the world around your Sims. Oh my gosh, there goes another ghost. This is so cool. Who are you? You're a really cool looking ghost. Some of them are angry. Some of them are neutral. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Did I just like kill half of the population of the town just so that I could have a bunch of ghosts pop up? This is so cool. 
Ah, uh, imagine if modders could be like, yeah, and here's like the special ability so that so that vampires show up or plant sims show up. That would be so fun. All right. Eve has discovered vampire secrets. Eve is delving deep into researching vampires. There seems to be a lot of knowledge she could unlock if she continues her research. All right, so we have researched gardening. We're studying up vampires, and as soon as she's done, we will leave for the Forgotten Grotto. Meanwhile, Flora. Oh, Flora is playing friendly. We'll go ahead and come for Acorn. We'll go ahead and pet Acorn. So it looks like Acorn wants a little bit of attention. And then what's wrong with Acorn? Oh, I wonder if the animals are nervous because all of the ghosts are afoot. That would actually make a lot of sense. So it makes sense that Flora would take some time to try to reassure them. Unlocked the vampire tome. Eve has discovered the Von Flavis Vampire Emporium while searching for vampires. She can now purchase Encyclopedia Vampirica number one on the computer under Vampire Secrets. All right, so that is definitely something. Oh, and we got splashed. Flora got splashed by the puppers. Ah, dear. All right, well, Eve, it is now time to uh to go traveling so let's send eve off armed with this knowledge that she now has about vampires and about uh well i'm gonna have her water these really really quickly armed with the knowledge that she now possesses about vampires and the expectations they may have acorn is somehow sick huh we'll have to take care of acorn in just a minute and i'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take soot on a short walk with Flora because the animals will we'll cuddle a squirrel and we will take soot on a walk because the animals are a little bit upset. Oh, and Acorn and Flora are now good friends. That's so sweet. I think the animals are just a teensy bit upset by all of the ghosts. And see, now today is really windy and cold. It's just very mysterious. The weather just isn't adding up for some reason. We've got all of these flowers that we need to water. But I really need to get out of here. But we're so close. Is that like my... Is that level 9 of the gardening skill? Ooh, that would be kind of nice to snag. Well, I guess it makes sense to... We'll head off as soon as we finish like watering. Ugh, and we have 24 hours to pay the bills. Um... Hmm. I could super sell a whole bunch of these plants. But... That may turn out badly for me. I probably need to super sell. As much as I don't want to. Because if I super sell, that'll give me more time to collect up the flowers. Uh, or maybe I should just wait. Oh, we'll try super selling inside of the other the other greenhouse. There we go. And today's mail has been delivered. What? Do we have like a pin pal for Flora? Because we already have bills. And that's like the only mail that I know about. Let's spray the area for bugs. Come on. And then I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to supercell inside of here and let's see what happens. Oh, sweet! And it caused us to level up in gardening, too. Eve continues to improve her gardening mastery and can now tend to garden efficiently, doing all the watering, weeding, and bug spraying at once. <gasps> That's so awesome! Though I haven't seen weeds for a long time now that I think about it. But all right, so we have managed that. I think we can gather up the flowers because it's better to save the flowers for some future things. And uh, let's go ahead and we're going to send Eve off to travel to the Forgotten Grotto. And we're going to see what kind of mysteries we can stumble upon over there. And who knows? Maybe we'll find whatever we need in order to pay the bills. But all right. It's just going to be Eve. She, or excuse me, Forgotten Hollow, not Forgotten Grotto. And we're going to come and visit Vampire, Registered Vampire Lair. I think we're just going to visit the bend. And it is just going to be us. Nobody else. There we go. And so on this spooky day, we will leave the desert and Eve will travel to have another plant expedition here in Forgotten Hollow, not Forgotten Grotto. I guess there's a lot of forgotten areas in the Sims 4 world now. And, oh, it's so pretty. And we'll have to see if a plant sim is safe when on the loose with vampires. So, all right, where can we head off to first? Let's see if we can start finding some of the, oh, here's somebody over here. 
Why, hello, sir. I think that he is a vampire wannabe, if I remember correctly. Let's come over here and let us uh, maybe start a rumor about mysterious plants that happen to be in the area. And does he happen to know anything about them? Because we would really like to, uh, really like to learn more. <gasps> Pigeons! Pigeons, hi, guys! Hi, how are you? Oh, you're so cute. I love you. Oh, my gosh, they're so fluffy. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we're going to start this rumor, and I think that'll be in the right kind of mischief spirit for the holiday. Yeah, pretty sure, because they have the little sign next to it. Yes! Oh, and we leveled up on the mischief skill! We can now troll the forms! Alright, let's get our mischief up. Let's claim... Let's lie about our career. Oh, look at all the ghosts! Oh my gosh! We'll go ahead and lie about our career and see if we can learn anything from this man. Maybe about pigeons. And look at all the houses. They're decorated for today. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, we're surrounded by ghosts. I think Eve is like oblivious to that fact right now. And this man is getting angry and we are literally showering him with our pollen. I mean, that does kind of like invade personal space just a little bit. And we're going to claim to be a mastermind. If not a criminal mastermind, just a mastermind. Look at him smash those, those chess pieces down. Yeah, we're claiming to be searching for a great treasure. Oh my gosh, Eve. This is adorable. I've never seen someone cackle so evilly. And this man, oh, look at that. Even the grand vampire's house is decorated. I think this man could really, like, have less to do with us if he, if he wished. But now we've made him angry. Have we fulfilled the mischief spirit yet? I don't think we have. Uh, let's start another rumor really quickly. Come on, mischief spirit. Maybe we need to maybe we need to try the mischief spirit on somebody else. We do have that voodoo doll. I think I sold it actually. Oh, and there's some happy ghost. Have I Yes, we have done it! We have managed to complete the holiday spirit, the mischief spirit with this guy. And I think we have convinced him to tell us some of the secrets of Forgotten Hollows. And I think the first thing he would say is that we are completely oblivious. Uh, let's go ahead and play chess with him just for a second, just in case that gets up our logic skill the teensiest bit. But I think he would argue that we're completely oblivious and look around yourself with your binoculars, lady. This place is totally not clean. It's got ghosts lingering everywhere. Do you see the sun doesn't even come out here? Well, maybe it's early in the morning. I could use a coffee. No, nope. he, he's going to be like, ha, look at you. Can't even see what's right in front of your face. You should go and explore, and then you'll find answers with the ghost. So, that'll be our next goal, is to actually go and visit with the ghost, and possibly work on some of our spooky spirit. Oh, look at the crows and the ravens! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is so cool. I haven't come here in so long. And it's so fun to have an excuse to come here. <gasps> and look at the little wild 6M mosquito plant. If only I could get that. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. All right. All right. And this guy seems like he's not that happy either. So, okay. We are we have made it over here to the Dark Forest hike. We have spoken with this man for a minute. And he has told us that we will find the answers we seek if we go and we speak with the ghost. So, oh, you can't really mess with this fountain. So, let's see. Here's a ghost over here. And I think that's... Oh, here's a ghost over here. Into the forest. Oh my gosh. And there's even this area. Yeah, let's come over here. All right. All right. So we're going to run over here and we're going to see the very first ghost that we run into, who that's going to be and what kind of answers they might have for the mysterious plants that grow in the area. Ah, I love plant collecting, collecting expeditions. All right. And Kayan is going to be maybe the first guy or maybe we didn't see him. Let's keep going for a minute. And there we are. All right, Eve. Let's see if we can find any answers for you. Lingering. What is this? The plasma fruit tree. Lingering somewhere. Oh, can I go over to that grave? <laughs> somewhere by this mysterious lakeside. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.